Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can do image to video in Vivago AI. In order to do so, here we are at vivago.ai and we're all logged in. And once you're here, this is the screen that you should see when you get here. You can see here up at the top that we already have some options to choose from and you can see here where it says image to video so you can click on that but you also have the video generation option that's here on the left hand side and if you click on that then you'll see that that is also going to bring you to the image to video page from here you can uh, see we'll just go ahead and close that out. And so you can see here that we can upload an image or we can even select it from our history. So if we've already uploaded an image and you just want to reuse that image, then you can click there. If you want to upload an image, you could just click there. And then you could see here that we can bring in our image from there. We want to make sure that we update our prompts. So we could say a dancing DJ surrounded by floating golden fish. And then from there, if we want to use the magic prompt, you'll see here that you have magic prompt. If you have that toggled on, then magic prompt is going to take your basic prompt and it's going to add additional details to try to improve that as much as possible. Now you may want to disable this because sometimes magic prompt might add details that you don't want. So if you want to be very specific, then you might want to disable that. Another thing you can do is you can use the prompt bot. You can message the prompt bot and you can have the prompt bot assist you in, uh, your prompts. So, um, let's just, copy that and paste that and then just see if that is all we need to do in order to improve our prompt. So it see, says here, the bot is thinking and it's even telling you what the thought process is of the prompt bot. And then now we could see here that we're getting all these details and the details they're pretty awesome so what we can do is we can copy this and we can bring that in and then if you want you can go through and you can edit this further looks like you can also use prompt so let's try just clicking on use prompt and there you go so that just brings that in without having to copy and paste it and Let's try clicking quote. So here we go. So that when you quote that, that brings that back into your uh, prompt bot here. So you can further refine this with prompt bot. If you want, you can uh, give prompt bot more information in order to refine that prompt. And then once you've got what you're looking for, you can click use prompt and then that's going to come over here. Um, again, you might want to look through this and delete anything or re, re, uh, uh, refine stuff that might be not quite what you're looking for. From there, we have a few different options to choose from. And it does appear that we do have lip sync here. So thing is, is I don't know. It does. It's not giving me the option to specify what the lip sync is. It just moves the lips. It looks like, um, you can upload video of a dynamic face. So it's possible then that we can add lip sync, but we don't have the credits to do that. So, um, we're not going to be able to do that for now, but that, uh, might be something to try out there. Uh, we also have our model. We have the turbo mode and we have the high quality mode. It doesn't appear that there is a difference for choosing either turbo mode obviously is going to go faster. High quality mode might take longer, but you might get a better result. We can reuse our seed to get similar results if we want to do that. And, uh, yeah, that gives you an idea of how to do image to video. Let's go ahead and go to our assets here so that we could take a look at some of the image to video, uh, examples that I've created. 
So here we have our character who uh, I used the boyfriend rose template for this one. So that is just kind of turning that drink into a rose, which is kind of cool. Here we have our dancing cat goddess, which uh, that one turned out pretty neat. I really like that one. And then you can see some of the other ones that I've generated already. So Vivigo definitely has some fun stuff. It's got some cool stuff. It, it uh, has pretty solid quality. So you could see here for yourself, that looks pretty slick. And when you compare that to some other platforms, uh, sometimes you don't get results that are quite that nice. So Vivigo has definitely uh, got uh, some, some it, it's definitely doing some good stuff there. There's a, a certain amount of quality there and that's really quite nice. And there's a lot of fun stuff to play through. So that gives you an idea of how to generate image to video using Vivigo. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.